you know, the Republican parties had this habit of electing the runner-up, nominating the runner-up to run for president. You know, Reagan, Bush 41, McCain, Romney. Santorum's the next Republican presidential nominee? Uh, well, hopefully we won't have to worry about that for another eight years. Uh, uh, this is a very important election, and that's really where the focus has to be. Uh, in fact, if you look at what this president, just going out and saying, I'm going to change the law on welfare. I'm going to eliminate the work requirement. Something that we fought for, President Clinton signed, huge transformation of the welfare rules, dramatic reductions, increases in in employment, reductions in poverty, probably the single greatest accomplishment social welfare-wise in the last 20 years. And President Obama gets up and says, nope, I'm going to change the law by speaking. This sounds like a two-bit dictator, not a president of the United States. You do not change oh. the law by speaking. Obama is a two-bit dictator. That's what it sounds like. This is a president who has put way too much authority okay, in the president's but, but office. Let, let me ask you this. Uh, you look at the economy, uh, if you look at the unemployment rate, if you look at the president's own approval ratings, you would think that the historic record, there would be no way that he would be winning re-election. Why is it that Mitt Romney hasn't pulled away? I don't pay much attention to these polls during the summer. Mitt Romney has to stay on message. He has to talk about how we're going to change, transform this economy and get people back to work. But he also has to talk about this imperial presidency. You know, my grandfather left El Duce in, 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 uh, in Italy, who could get up and, and change the law at, 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 by giving a speech. We, so. do, we do not need another person who thinks that they can simply get up, give a speech, change the law, and then dare the Congress. You're, you're, you're comparing the President of the United States to Mussolini. Da I dare you. What, what he's doing is out there, he is, he is abusing power like a, I've never seen a president do. Let me ask you, point blank. What would happen if Mitt Romney picked as a running mate somebody who is in favor of abortion, abortion rights? Uh, it would uh, have a chilling effect on certainly a lot of voters. If we don't get a good turnout of, uh, of strong of, of evangelicals and strong Catholics, um, you're going to have a hard time winning this election. And I think uh, for the Republican Party to nominate someone who's pro-choice uh, would be uh, as much of a problem as for the Democrats to nominate someone who was pro-life. So it would be a big mistake if he were to pick I just, it Condoleezza make, it Rice, who yeah, yeah. describes herself as it certainly, it's, it certainly, you know, may help in some other areas, but I think on balance it would be a, uh, it would make his election a lot harder. How big a mistake would it be? This is a non-negotiable for, uh, for a vice presidential pick. You don't put someone on a national ticket who doesn't doesn't buy into those basic core values, and and being pro-life is one of them. So.